Hey everyone, welcome back to my next Tarkov video. I'm going to break down the numbers on the solar power module that you can build in your hideout so you can make a decision if you want to spend the massive investment to build it or not. After that, I'll do a quick guide on where you can find some of these components that can be hard to get. Hint, most of them are on reserve. So real quick, let's break down the cost of what it takes to build this pig in your hideout. First off is the most expensive chunk of this, and it's the 15,000 euros. It'll run you about 2.15 million rubles. I say about because the euro cost is constantly shifting around. So double check before you dive in. As of the time I made this video, it's right around 143 rubles per euro. Second is the four military cables. These can be easy to find, but they only run about 30 to 35K on the flea market. Next is the two phased array elements. These are pretty expensive, and they're right now they're right around 470,000 rubles a piece. But as the wipe goes on, these will get quite a bit cheaper. As of the end of last wipe, they were about 120 to 180K rubles. The third component is the four military power filters. These are pretty cheap and easy to find. They are running about 35K and they should stay near that for the foreseeable future. Lastly are just the requirements. You will need Peacekeeper level four, a level three generator, and a level three workbench. So wrap all this together and it puts the cost right about 3.37 million to build this thing. So to help you decide whether you wanna spend the money on this or not, let's break down some of the numbers. The metal fuel cans are the cheapest per unit of fuel. And I'm assuming if you have Peacekeeper level four, you have Jaeger level four. So you can buy the fuel cans from him for about 90K. When full, these have 100 units of fuel. Each unit gives you 14 minutes and 27 seconds without solar power and 28 minutes and 54 seconds with solar power, which for each fuel can is 24.08 hours and 48.17 hours respectively. This boils down to a cost per hour of 3750 rubles without solar and 1875 rubles with solar. This means the solar saves you 1875 rubles per hour. Math is fun, right? Anyways, so at a savings of 1,875 rubles per hour, it takes 1,797.3 hours to replace that 3.37 million you dumped into this. That's a long time. It's 74.9 days or 2.5 months. So those are the hard numbers for you. You can make your decision just off of that if you want. If you want to listen to my take, hang on here for a second and I'll talk through why I think you should build this thing if you're able. I'm not personally a fan of having 10s or 20s or 50s or hundreds of millions of rubles in your stash. It's cool to look at, but it doesn't do you much good. It doesn't earn any interest and it doesn't make you more powerful. I'd trade millions for a little easier gameplay any day. That's how I look at the solar power. With it full of metal fuel cans, it runs for almost 11 days without touching it. That's what's so great about this thing. It takes a little work out of your everyday grind of the game. It also does pay for itself eventually. I leave mine running 24-7. I play a lot, so it's perfect for me. If you don't touch your hideout, or you only play a few times a week, and you need the money, don't build it. So if you hung out this long, let's get into where you can find all the parts. Honestly, you can find everything on reserve, and I like reserve, so I'm biased to the map and how easy it is to get around this and survive raids, especially with the new extract and having a red rebel. First off, you don't need keys to find these parts, but a few will help. If you pick up the RBAM key, it spawns in that room. All right, guys, so underneath here, this is the, uh, I forget what room this is, RBAK or RB, whatever it is. Um, these two spots here, obviously there's military control boards. This is where you can find the phase arrays. Also in this room, some good loot here on the table and fire steel can spawn on that as well. While you don't need the RBAK key because you can drop down into it from above, I prefer to have it because it's so much safer to get in and out of. When you guys drop down right here, you come in, um, like I said, try to get the key if you can, cause it's a lot safer. Check all of these shelves. So here we got a circuit board, you know, light bulbs, LCD screens, but even back here on the tables and stuff, things can spawn. So you wanna check all of this to make sure that there's no uh, phased arrays there. Okay. Also, I found several of these in both marked rooms on this map. Those are the RBBK and RBVO keys. I haven't found it in the newer third marked room yet, so I can't tell you 100% if it's there or not, but I'd bet it probably is. That's the one in the bunker basement area they added in 12.6. So over here at Black Pond, down in the basement is the marked room. If you get one of the close spawns, you can get here fast, great, but this is a highly contested room. You know, right out the gate, you're gonna get PVP action here. With this guy, I was actually pretty lucky to catch up to him, because I screwed around in the basement for a while before I went to the marked room. But as soon as I got there, I heard him um, and decided to engage to see if I'd get any of the loot he had.
I heard the door shut, so I figured he was inside. It'd be a chance to pain kill. If he'd rushed me right here, he would have killed me because I was right in the middle of a pain kill when he ran by. Pretty stoked with this. Uh, the RSAS was worth quite a bit, and he had a lot of good ammo that matched what I had, as well as I was able to insurance from my beta. So, all in all, it ended up being a good decision to rush this thing. This doesn't have a three for in it either, does it? Shit. Oh, that's not going to be worth much, so we'll do that. We'll throw that out. We'll take that. We'll take a shattered mask off. Put those there and there. Bring these up. What ammo did he have? So over at the B buildings, um, you have your other mark room. And again, you can get uh, phaser rays out of this one as well. The rest of the locations are outside of the locked rooms and you can get to most of them from spawns pretty quickly. So on the west side of the map, which is on the right side of most paper maps, you can find it sitting in the freezer part of the broken fridge next to the AA tanks or on the tables in just the general area around that tank. It can also spawn on the other end of the map in the bunker underneath where the grenade launcher is on the tables. So over on the bunker on the east side of the map, um, where you have this automatic grenade launcher, this little bunker down here, they can spawn down here on the tables. So you want to come and look. You can also find... Uh, OFZ shells and stuff down here, so this is just generally a good loot place to check anyways. Now over here at this next AA tank, I have seen on Reddit and heard people say you can find OFZ shells and phaser arrays here. I have never found one myself. Um, you know, I've seen a military battery spawn right there, but I'll leave it to you guys if you want to check this or not. I found it in several places in White King. The two main tech rooms are the most obvious, but I've seen several other tech spawns that I believe can spawn this thing. So check closely. It can blend in because it's flat and it doesn't really stand out like some of the other items. Where did you go right? Uh, we're in the back room, in the, went through the bathroom into the tech room. Server room? Yeah. Dude, Listen, really come here. Yes, Listen, come here. Come here. Come here. That was the one I was looking for. I'm like looking. So, dude, I, I can see the dot right here for that power. Yeah, spot. yeah. I don't understand. Because it, it, it's one of your skills. It fucking it makes your dot show up further away. I close that door to the what you call it. Some of the other places here is like on top of these green boxes. I've never seen a phased array here, but I've found MGTs and power filters here as well as military cables. And then up on the roof next to this satellite dish, there's cables, power filters, and MGTs I've seen up here too. The other place I've seen this is on the third floor of White Knight. So in the motor pool buildings, White Knight to be specific, up on the third floor, there's another spawn up here. Actually, there's a couple. Um, the wiki tells you to go all the way to the third floor down to the end and it supposedly spawns on this chair down here i've never seen it there but i have seen it in this room here on this chair right there so maybe that's what they meant i don't know but it's another place to check for it and then lastly down in the basement on the way to the new d2 extract you can find this in the racks in fact i had one of my viewers show me a screenshot where he found two in the same rack sitting right next to each other so this is also a great place to check. Just be mindful because a lot of people camp this extract and it gets a lot more traffic now. Well, that wraps it up. I hope you guys liked the video. If so, please hit like. Uh, if you want to see future videos, please hit subscribe as it helps the channel out a bunch. We also have a Discord full of folks that have tons of knowledge they're willing to share, so come say hi there as well. And I stream on Twitch, not on a regular schedule, but most nights, goofing off with my buddies, so don't hesitate to come by and say hi. So with that, thanks for watching the video. We'll see you in Tarkov.